Susan Stevens coming at you in the kitchen. <laughs> oh my God, I have too much fun doing these videos. Uh, Susan Stevens, badass nutritionist, breathwork, and intuitive counselor, founder of the Breakdown to Breakthrough 90 day program to create emotional and nutritional mastery. Uh, I am so excited to talk to you today about a subject that is dear to my heart. And the title of this video is No One Diet Fits All. That's right, no one diet fits all. So we're gonna talk to, talk to you a little bit about why food and flavor, the nature of food, the nature of flavors, how that affects the body, and why it's important to realize that everyone is different and that different people need different diets at different times in their life. So maybe I should repeat that. Different people need different diets at different times in their life. So let's start. So first of all, if anyone sells you, anyone out there, any guru, any person on YouTube sells you the idea that there's this one diet that is going to cure cancer, is going to heal MS, is going to heal fibro, then turn the channel off. <laughs> turn the channel off. It's This is crazy talk. This is insane. And this is how I was in the beginning when I was an amateur practitioner 10 years ago and that's how I came out of my holistic nutrition class and I was putting everybody on raw food diets. I thought raw food, raw, 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 raw. <laughs> you know, raw is the best. And um, wow. Uh, and I used to do that myself. I would eat meat, but I would have a lot of raw food. And at first I felt amazing. I like lost a ton of weight. My skin started glowing and it made me feel really, really good. And I actually even worked for a raw food company uh, Advantage Health Matters, a new chapter for six years, a supplement company, and I would teach raw. Like I would, I was a raw food girl and I'd preach raw throughout the lands. It was amazing. And what happened is after a number of years of eating raw, my digestion completely started to fail. So instead of having three bowel movements a day, I had four, five, six bowel movements a day. And I started getting a lot of striations on my fingernails. And I also was experiencing like major cold. I could never get warm. It was thermostat wars. Anyone have that? Thermostat wars with their partner, right? And there was nothing I could do. Like I was freezing all the time. I started gaining a ton of weight around my belly and I had no willpower and I had no sex drive and my cravings were out of control and I had so much fungal. And it wasn't until I asked, and I've, I've talked about this, but I've asked, I asked a master herbalist and I, he, I stuck, stuck in my tongue. And I mean, like that's a good looking tongue now, right? Like, look at that. That's a sweet, I was gonna say, that's a sweet ass tongue, man. It's taken me years to perfect. But he looked at my tongue and he said, no fruit, no raw, no dairy. And it was like my world was blown. My world was blown. And oops. And so uh, that my whole practice started to change because somebody would come in for blood analysis, they'd be on raw food and their blood looked amazing. And then another person would be on raw food and it looked awful. So I was so confused. I was like, what's the answer? And this is the thing we go on Google. I mean, it's so frustrating out there with diets. I mean, I've tried every diet, like, you know, the zone diet, the keto diet, the Atkins diet. But, but what I found over the years is that depending on the state of your adrenals, so your adrenals is what affects 
your entire constitution. So if your cortisol is high or if your cortisol is low, that actually determines whether you hold water in the body or whether you excrete water. So it can mean the difference between are you a swamp or are you a desert? And depending, it can be, you can be both, but in different parts of the body. In the, in the Chinese medicine, they call it the upper burners, the lower burners, the middle burners, right? So you need to understand where you're at, where your constitution is at. Because for example, um, some people might be better with a vegetarian diet because a vegetarian diet is a way is a very moisturizing diet. And this is the thing about food. All food ha and flavors have characteristics. So they can be hot, they can be cooling, warming, cooling, drying, moisturizing, and, um, and these things will affect the flow of fluids and temperature in the body. So it's the kind of thing, for example, if my client, if I, if I, do, I do live blood analysis, so if I take a finger prick of their blood, their finger is cold. The blood, when I put it on the, the slide, all their blood will be congested. It will all be clumped together and it will not be flowing. And that's because just warmth or warm or cold affects the flow of blood in the body and affects the chi. And there's a saying, wherever the chi goes, the blood flows. No chi, no blood, no flow. So that's the thing with flavors. So if, for example, um, you're eating um, lemons, for example. We have this thing with lemons. Lemons are amazing. They're so good for the liver. I mean, come on. And everyone does the lemon water every morning. Well, that's only if lemons are right for your constitution and you have liver stagnation or you have, um, you know, a yang deficiency, different things. But lemons, for people that perhaps have trouble sleeping through the night or maybe they have dryness in the body. I mean, that's the thing, it's gonna excrete fluids. So for those people, it might, it might worsen the condition. So it's really important to know, like, what flavors are good for me? Can I handle spicy food? Can I handle bitter food? People use flavors in our society, just like, yeah, just as like, oh, this is the taste, I want more taste, but flavors are medicinal meaning uh, you need to use them sparingly because they create change in the body. They are so healing. Flavors are so healing in the body that it'd be like taking, um, you know, big doses of a, of a drug or even like a pharmaceutical drug because flavors have that much impact. So if you're one of these people like, I, I went from, at one point, eating a vegetarian diet, um, I mean a paleo diet, to now I eat a vegetarian diet with some meat and lots of grains. And grains actually cause me to lose weight. I mean, <laughs> people are going crazy with the grain thing and the keto thing, it's a joke. It's grains can be so healing for the body. They can help you have a bowel movement. They can help you create moisture. They can help you reduce cravings. Sometimes people are craving chocolate because they're not getting enough moisture. And grains are sweet and grains produce sweet in the body. So anyhow, if you're like, okay, now I, I have no idea what I'm doing and I don't know who to believe, then book in for a breakthrough call with me. Um, I check your tongue out, or, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> in my Breakdown to Breakthrough program, I do Chinese medicine, we look at your tongue, we um, give you the right foods for your constitution, and we also look at what flavors are good for you, what flavors aren't good for you, and a meal plan based on where you're at. And it might not be something that's static. It might be something that shifts and moves with time, with the seasons, you know? It like, I mean, that's the thing with like, it's freezing outside and eating freezing cold food. It might not make sense for everyone. So I could go on and on and on, but if this is you, stop, 
looking to Google for these answers. You need a trained professional to do, that has years of experience. So I've worked with over 6,000, I don't even know where I'm at, six, 8,000 clients and I understand, um, I see what works and what doesn't from a nutritional perspective. Big love, um, stay tuned, 30 day challenge. I know one day I'm gonna be making a video in my PJs because I'm gonna be exhausted and just be like, keep up the 30 day challenge. <laughs> okay, click the, break, click, click the link below if you wanna book a breakthrough call for me and um, or join my Breakdown to Breakthrough community free private Facebook group. It will be the best support you've ever had. Okay, peace.